Dystonias are a group of movement disorders characterized by sustained and involuntary muscle contractions and postures. This disorder is rooted in a functional alteration of brain circuits rather than neurodegeneration. Dystonias may be divided into two categories, primary dystonias, which develop spontaneously, and secondary dystonias, which may be triggered by pharmacological intervention, brain injury, or may manifest with other neurological disorders. We will focus on the early onset primary torsion dystonia. The average age of onset for this dystonia comes at about 12.5 years of age, and it has an incidence of about 3 to 4 per every 100,000 people. It is autosomally dominant. In those affected, an abnormality is present on chromosome 9, where the gene for the torsin A protein is mutated by a 3 base pair GAG deletion. This deletion deletes a glutamic acid from the C terminus of the torsin A protein, and this deletion is responsible for the complete manifestation of the DYT1 movement disorder. By altering the torsin A protein, the function of cells in the motor pathway, called the nigrostriatal pathway, is altered. Now, let's take a closer look at torsin A. The torsin A protein is a part of the AAA plus family of ATPases, which catalyze a decomposition or hydrolysis of ATP to ADP. This interaction and breakdown releases energy, which is harnessed to drive other chemical reactions and protein interactions. If we zoom in to look where exactly torsin A is functioning, we see that it is found in high concentrations in the dopaminergic neurons within the striatum. In the motor pathway, called the nigrostriatal pathway, dopamine neurons branch from the substantia nigra to the striatum. These dopaminergic neurons connect to cholinergic inner neurons within the striatum which then connect to inhibitory GABAergic neurons that project to the sensory area of the brain, the thalamus. Upon receiving this input and signal of activity, the thalamus sends glutamatergic projections to the cerebral cortex, which then communicates to spinal motor neurons to stop firing. This regulates motor movement so that muscles contract and relax appropriately given the input. Now, if we zoom in to look at torsin A along this pathway in the dopaminergic cells, we see it function within the nuclear envelope, between the outer nuclear membrane and the inner nuclear membrane. Here, torsin A is involved in connecting the nuclear envelope to the cytoplasmic cytoskeleton, actin. We see here that torsin A binds to two proteins, called LULL1 and LAP1, in the endoplasmic reticulum and in the nuclear envelope of neurons. Here, the binding of torsin A to these proteins is stabilized by ATP hydrolysis. The binding of torsin A to these membrane-bound proteins is essential for the budding of the membrane that forms a vesicle filled with mega-RNA from the nucleus or proteins from the endoplasmic reticulum and sends them to the synapses of neurons. Therefore, torsin A plays a crucial role in synapse formation in ensuring that the appropriate function of the motor pathway in those who suffer from early onset torsion dystonia, however, this nigrostriatal motor pathway does not function as it should. As mentioned, in dystonia, torsion A is mutated by the deletion of a single glutamic acid residue, a position 302 or 303 of torsion A gene. This region is adjacent to the core ATP ACE domain and this mutation of the ATPase causes ATP to remain at the protein for a prolonged period of time, never hydrolyzing to ADP, and thus never initiating an interaction between the two transmembrane proteins and thus the cytoskeleton. Where torsin A once aided in the envelopment of mega-RNAs and proteins, a mutated torsin A inhibits the budding and migration of vesicles from the nucleus or the endoplasmic reticulum Rather, the vesicles aggregate in the perinuclear space instead of making it to the synapse to deliver proteins, mega-RNAs, or neurotransmitters. Perhaps this is why D2 receptors on these neurons do not function properly, and therefore the nigrostriatal pathway does not inhibit spinal motor neurons. This lack of inhibition is what leads to the characteristic 
uncontrollable muscle contractions in those who suffer from dystonia. Unfortunately, because it is unclear as to what exactly Torsin A does that helps with nuclear budding, other than that it's an ATPase, therapeutic options cannot target this protein mutation, but rather must instead focus on the cholinergic interneurons containing the D2 receptors that may be affected within this nigrostriatal pathway. Studies in 2009 by Martella showed hope for this therapeutic mechanism in mice who exhibited normal function of GABAergic neurons when acetylcholine levels were lowered, or when M1 receptors on the GABAergic neurons were antagonized. This is a good start, 